everybody. Uh, I'm very early this morning. Uh, it's, if I get so dark that I have to use the lights here. Uh, I think if I'm without, uh, you don't see much. So let's keep those lights on. Um, Boxing day yesterday. Uh, actually saw quite a few games, not all of them all that happy for me. Especially for one league. Uh, for me the most surprising again is, uh, this is mainly due to my own ignorance and not checking the schedule because I usually uh, I never look that much ahead of who is playing who and when is what fixture um, so I was surprised that Italy is having also a boxing day and they will actually play this weekend too uh, I hope then they will make a break probably they will um, I think it's money they think and if you see the scheduling, they were always an hour ahead of England, at least for the early games. Always an hour ahead, so uh, I'm sure that the thinking was along the lines. Maybe we can steal a few um, viewers from the Premier League on that day. Other than that, I don't see a reason for Italy having uh, a Boxing Day matchup, except that you know, most of the time they have good weather and we can see, we could see was not that bad. I really want to try now without the light. Yes. I know there are some lights, but it's, it's a bit better. Although I don't know if you want to see. But yeah, uh, yeah. Let's start in Serie A because that's where I started, and then we go to the Premier League. Um, stupid me. Stupid me, I of course I saw the early game Frosinone and Milan. Yeah, we gotta watch that, we gotta watch that. It's Milan, it's Milan. I know they have not been uh, treating me well this month, and yeah, they continue to not treat me well. Um, I loved when my wife, I think at 15 minutes in, she realized, ah, who are you watching? Ah, for all me, uh, a meal. Oh, yeah, 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 it's Milan playing, it cannot go well. <laughs> she basically cursed me, it came from there. <laughs> Now Milan actually started out well-ish. I don't want to say great, but you know, they played forward, they tried to get something going. Cotrone had a very early chance. Castillejo with a nice move hit the post and you know, it started already in this um, head-on. Missing chances, missing chances, missing chances and uh, not having scored yourself in a long time. I mean, in Serie A, they had two consecutive nil-nil draws. Uh, then the zero-one against um, Fiorentina. So yeah, uh, it have to use, yeah, it is not going well. Not going well at all. And Catuso is, uh, of course, under pressure already. Not sure. Yeah, I don't know. The, the squad needs something, but you know, I would say they are the injuries. Yes, it shouldn't be an excuse, but uh, look at the defensive midfield, look at some of the defenders. I think the squad has more potential, but there is something going wrong. And probably with all the injuries, a, a good argument can be made. This is probably also down to the coach. I mean, if your players are injured like crazy, um, there is something not right um, as well. So yeah, I, mean, I can understand it. I just, it, I was never the biggest fan of Gattuso as a coach. I loved him as a player. Uh, cannot overstate this enough, but um, I do have some understanding that, you know, he better be under pressure and there better be something showing. And yeah, he probably needed a good win at Frozen Only and then they have Spal, which they also should comfortably in order to get something to make up the impression. Um, I don't like mid-season mid coaching changes and this is what Milan is headed for now, uh, second or third time in a row, because you don't achieve much. Give a coach the entire year and then call, uh, call the year off and uh, I think you should make negotiations now for a really good coach that you're gonna have for an entire year. Let Catuso see the, the year out. Um, 
maybe something is getting still together if he has the full squad because let's face it uh, they have been unlucky and yeah not, every part of the season there has been some stuff not, not going right but I always feel uh, he at least tried to play a decent style on the other side yes uh, maybe not he doesn't have the squad so getting back to the game Frosinone quickly got itself in a position to uh, actually strike on the counter a few times that's exactly what they did and I think in the 40th minute they got a goal and from my perspective fortunately on the other side I feel maybe it would have been better if it would have stood uh, there was a foul on Chalanoglu in midfield that was reviewed that's how Frosinone got possession the counter itself was played beautifully um, but look the goal was uh, taken away by the way, speaking of all, for I didn't expect such a nice stadium there. It was a small but very nicely uh, newly built stadium, really cool. Also, the jerseys, the Zeus as the brand, <laughs> that, 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 that I liked a lot. Also, uh, their numbers were a little bit odd. Second half, it was mostly Milan trying to get something, but uh, with sometimes already desperation. There were a couple of chances. Uh, I think Udrone hit one, and but it was most most of the stuff was just blocked away. Um, the biggest one, Iguain, who is completely off, lost his plot seemingly. Uh, pulled it high over the bar. I think the cross was right on his foot, but it probably bounced a little bit. Didn't look good for him, but you know, those are the types of things where you gotta make those. A uh, few more chances, they tried, but you know, I think Gattuso again reacted too late in the game to uh, get something, but then of course he doesn't really have the alternatives either. So yeah. It ended 0-0 and that, 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 that of course opens the gate for all the other teams and so it went. Uh, Sampdoria of course beats at home Kiev 2-0, um, goes above Milan now. Uh, Fiorentina Parma, um, that was actually lucky for Milan that Parma won that one, 1-0. One so uh, I actually saw the first half of that then I went to English Boxing Day because they had the conference. That uh, was basically the game that I thought I want to watch most. Um, you, of course, then had Bologna winning, uh, Bologna losing to Lazio 0 2. This was where Milan got a 0 0. So Lazio is now, when Milan could have had the punch winning at Bologna uh, to get a distance, now Lazio gets the distance from Milan and from many other teams as well. So. You gotta beat Bologna. Bologna, Frosinone, uh, those are teams that are about to be relegated and you cannot beat them, I'm sorry. Uh, those are horrible results, absolutely hor horrible results. Uh, and I, and I, I remember even when they played Kievo at home, uh, this was a game that they should have won by a much, much bigger score than the 3 1, I think, uh, that it was. Um, what are other results uh, around that? I think, to, um, yeah, Spal Udin, that doesn't matter. Cagliari Genoa, 1-0, uh, doesn't matter. I mean, Atalanta Juve is what matters, and this was the other big game that everyone was talking about. I didn't see much. I mean, Juve um, got um, an early on goal, 1-0 for Juve. Atalanta turns it around uh, early by, I think at halftime it was 1-1, and then early in the second half, Atalanta made it 2-1 before Ronaldo uh, in the 78th makes it a 2-2. So, uh, also a little bit lucky for Milan. Uh, but again, Atalanta could edge closer and then Roma Sassuolo, that was the other game, that was the late game, 3-1, uh, so Roma is close as well. Uh, Torino beats um, Empoli 3-0, also another team that is in the mix, that is now edging ever closer. And so we have now... Uh, just looking from uh, fourth place down, we have Lazio with 31, a little bit comfortable. We have Sampdoria 29, um, 
Milan 28, those are the, in the top six. And then it's unbelievably close. We have Roma with 27, we have Torino with 26, and then the next team all have 25 points. Atalanta, Fiorentina, Sassuolo and Parma, all sitting at 25 points. So they're all within striking distance, three points off Milan. This is a chasing pack uh, that you don't want to have. And then you have uh, Cagliari 20 from that point on. It's kind of, uh, you could argue relegation zone starts. Uh, so, that leaves one game, which was Inter Napoli, uh, which started off with, with a bang right off the kickoff. Uh, second touch of, of the game, Icardi has a shot on goal from the mid, mid, mid line and he hits the bar. Unbelievable. After that, Napoli controls the game most of the time. Hamshi gets the goal with an injury, but you know, there were not many big chances. Uh, and Koulibaly in the second half gets an absolutely unnecessary. Uh, red card. I mean, he got, he got the yellow, then blah, 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 uh, at the referee gets a red card, is sent off. At that moment, Napoli tried to really get control without really having chances. I think the pain. So the best chance was a Insigne roll up that, you know, since it bounced, it was hard to save from down pitch. But yeah, it was not uh, going well. Napoli, still with 10 men, remained in control of the game. Uh, unbelievably and they had uh, right before the end of a couple of unbelievable chances where Amdanovic um, saved and it saved on the line that just couldn't get, 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 get in and probably would have uh, made for a uh, deserved win and so Inter gets it. Inter in the 92nd he gets the winner in typically Inter fashion then Insigne sent off as well for uh, making a tussle absolutely unnecessary well um, so on top of Serie A we have now Juve with 50 Napoli still remains 41 Juve plays a draw and Napoli uh, cannot um, get closer that's uh, that irks me Inter makes uh, up some points at 36 now so that's the top three so this is my Serie A roundup for now um, give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video especially my rant about Milan I guess um, subscribe to my channel right about here if you want to see more of these videos and also check out the playlists here. I will talk to you soon with the Premier League. Up until then, bye.